Right, what have we got here? Big old question, asymptotes, calculus, involving stationary points, normals, gradients, intersections, the lot. Okay, let's get started. What we've got is asymptote to a curve. Parallel to the y-axis means that it's a vertical asymptote, and vertical asymptotes occur when denominators equal zero. So the asymptote occurs when 3x minus 6 equals 0, 3x equals 6 when x equals 2. And there was a bit of a clue lurking there, of course. So x equals 2, vertical asymptote. I'm going to rub that out. I don't think I'm going to be too concerned about that anymore. And stationary points. Now, this is a... This is a long old question, this one. I think what we've got to do is stationary points. We've got to realise that these are going to occur when dy dx, when the gradient is zero. That's a um, that's key point, key rule. dy dx is the hassle here. What we've got is we've got u over v, quotient function rational function and I'm just going to use the quotient rule to sort this out so 2 dx 4x and dv dx is 3 and do i dx for this into the quotient rule v du dx minus u dv dx all divided by v squared a little bit of sorting out to be done here go too much further with that until I've sorted out these stationary points. So stationary points when denominators not an issue here. It's not going to become zero with the denominator at any value. The you can't zero a function with a zero denominator, so it's the numerator that I'm interested in. It's stationary, it's zero, when this numerator is zero. And looking at that, what I've got on that numerator is 6x squared minus 24x plus 18 is zero. Divide both sides by 6, factorise... 1 and 3, minus, minus, and so stationary points are looking like x equals 1, or x equals 3, and taking these into the y, if x equals 1, what have I got? Minus 4 over minus 3, 4 over 3, and when x equals 3, 12 over 3, that's 4. Stationary points, those two. OK, done. Equation of a normal next. Equation of a normal. Well, before we get equation of a normal, we need the gradient and we need a point. Crosses the y-axis. Now, for part C... That A crosses the y-axis, so x equals 0. And if x equals 0, y, back in here, minus 6 over minus 6, y equals 1. So I've got my point. My gradient I can get from dy dx. So dy dx, when x equals 0, rather nicely, makes this simple. 
18 over 36. Of course, that's the gradient of the tangent, not the normal. Um, so the normal gradient here. Normal gradient, turn it over. 1 over a half is 2, and opposite sign. There we go. So I've got a point, I've got a gradient, which means my normal is simply y minus y1, mx minus x1, slot my numbers in, point, gradient, x minus 0, and so y equals it's my normal there. And finally, the curve meets the normal again. Now I think I'm going to need a bit of space here. Let me see if I can get rid of that. Just thinking about it. There we go. Meets again, simultaneous equation. I've got y equals this, y equals this, and when do they meet? So for part d, the normal has to meet the curve. And just a matter of sorting this out. Now, I was expecting x equals 0. I already know that point. That was this one. That's where the normal first set off. And the other one that I'm after, the x coordinate, is x equals 0. This bracket 15 over 8. And that's the end of my question.